Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we've got um, some burr comb, which was on the lid of my hive because I don't know why, but it had honey in it and there's like honey in the comb. And we're gonna try and sort of render it down into pure wax. Um, so yeah, so I just found this on the top of my, on, well, on my lid, in the inside of my lid. Um, when I took off the hive because they had expanded too fast and they needed some more space. So we've upgraded that box. And yeah, so now we're going, what I'm first going to do to try my best to um, work with the bird comb is I'm going to break it down by literally just... Um, just using a knife or any sort of thing that could, you know, break it down. And I'm doing this, one, to get the beeswax out of it, but two, I also want that that nectar. And the reason why we're not doing this for the bee, for the um, honey is because it's this, um, that liquid, it's not honey, it's nectar, it's like, um, it's un the honey is not cat so that means it is not of the right consistency to be honey and yeah it's hard to explain but i'm just gonna break all this down into the same mixture as that and um if you follow my youtube channel Soon I'll be uploading videos of all my hives because I've got some new hives because of swarming. I've got six hives at the moment. And yeah, keep breaking it. And I reckon that's a pretty good consistency. So now what I'm going to do is... I'm gonna transfer this into this, this other one. So it's all one big load of it. This will just make it easier to handle instead of having to do two separate batches at a time. So yeah, I'm thinking of using this nectar as like a artificial, as like a natural uh, sugar syrup for my bees. I'll feed it to them, and yeah, or I might just use it for nothing. But I'm gonna scrape it all out because bees take a lot of work to make this, and I sort of want to give it back to them. So um, yeah. That'll do for the sec. Now I'm going to quickly go wash this out and then I'm going to strain it into this one. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay, so I've washed this one out to strain this in. But before I do that, I'm just going to put a quick picture of um, what the honeycomb looked like on the lid right there. It's pretty cool how they do that and it's very interesting. So now we're gonna strain this. So we're gonna we've got a strainer and I've got a spoon and I'm simply just gonna pour it on it. I mean just pour this in. heavy from all the nectar I'm gonna do a bit at a time and so yeah this has got beeswax nectar pollen whatever in it 
and they're all going to do it all at once, otherwise it might overflow and get a bit messy. I mean, that's what beekeeping is, right? Messiness. Alright, so I'm going to do this and I'll update you guys when it's straining and strained. Alright guys, so I've got most of it in. There's a bit more in there which I'll have to do. But I'm just using a spoon, pushing it down to speed up the process of straining. And once I've pushed more down, I should be able to get this last bit in here and plop it straight on. Like that. So I'm going to keep pushing down, get the last scraps out of this, and then I might let it just strain for an hour. And then after that, we'll sort out the rest of the wax that's in there. And I'll probably just bottle up the nectar, slash honey, and um, it will go to the bees, gratefully. Alright, see you then. Okay guys, now this is strained, as you can see in there, and it's still wet, but it's um, definitely drier than it started once we mustered all. So now, I'm going to transport this top stuff in here to this little container that I will then melt it down in so i'll do this and then i'll see you guys once it's on the fire and melting okay guys so i've got it on the barbecue and i'm just using a knife to stir it around and hopefully it starts boiling and um, melting the wax. And the main idea is to have the water and all the bad debris at the bottom. And the wax and um, basically all the good stuff at the surface. Because water and wax does not mix. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. I'll update you guys soon. Okay, so as you can see, I don't want to bring my camera too close, but it's melting on the top, which is good, and the bad stuff's going to the bottom. So I'll update you guys when it's done and when it needs resting. Okay guys, so it fully melted. Now I'm turning it off and letting it cool. And in a couple hours, once it's fully cooled, I'll push down and hopefully a big blob of wax should come up and I'll see you then. Before I reveal the wax, check out how much nectar we got out of that. So funny. You probably can't see but it says a litre on there. Exactly a litre of this which I'll use and give back to the bees and put in jars. So yeah. Uh, back to the wax okay guys so it has dry but it's sort of crumbled but there's a bit more that we have to filter so i'll do that again but this is basically it i uh, got a solid bit of wax out of that so that was good thanks for watching and i'll see you on another one bye